A local travel nurse with UPMC says she and others have taken a drastic pay cut and they continue to seek answers from hospital staff. The nurse is saying the changes taking place impact more than just the health care staff. Brianna Malone reports. Do you know I mean? Jocelyn Cifuto is a labor and delivery nurse with the travel team of UPMC Hammett, who has been with the hospital for 12 years. Cifuto says as of 10 days ago, staff was informed that they would meet one on one with clinician HRs to discuss a few changes. The next day, one on one started leaking out that we we're going to have a 15% pay decrease. So it was all these thank yous and all of a sudden kind of a slap in your face. But she says the changes go beyond the pay decrease. Some changes to the programs, changes how our stipend was paid, changes how our PTO was paid. She says many attempts have been made to get answers, but their questions are still unanswered today. I had my one-on-one, -on -one, had questions that couldn't be answered. Um, I finally, in frustration, was like, is this going to happen again? They're like, probably. I said, oh. I said, are we going to be notified of this change? Uh, we don't know. We do this market analysis and this is where we go. Cifuto says the nurses need to stand together united in order to get the answers they're looking for. We have experience. It's We're not just out of school. Um, we have the experience. We can go to other states. We can go to other hospitals. We can take other travel jobs. Um, we can create what you just tried to squash right back open again. <laughs> And I think we all need to speak up to that, that we deserve more than that. Cifuto says the travel team is not the only group being impacted. Ultimately, the ones that are suffering are the patients in the bed. It's your boyfriend, it's your mother, it's your father, it's your sister, it's your brother. I have a son in college. This is a 15% is paying for part of his college. Um, people have single mothers that are taking care of. They're the bare only people taking care of their families. You know, and they can't speak out or they're afraid to speak out of retaliation. Brianna Malone, Fox 66 News. And tonight, UPMC released a statement from Chief Communications Officer Paul Wood. It reads in part, quote, The UPMC travel staffing program is now evolving as others have across the country. We have made significant progress to stabilize our site-specific nursing workforce. We strongly value flexibility in components of our workforce, which is why the UPMC travel program will continue as an important part of our commitment to patients and staff with premium pay for that workforce. The entire statement can be found on our website, yourerie.com.